Hello everyone and welcome back to Om Nom Omnivore here with our adorable Kimqua and they're doing pretty darn good even though we have just been abandoned once again by our little pack. They have roamed off to find better nesting pastures somewhere else which I am quite put out about because we just worked really hard to clear a whole bunch of the nests around here and pull our ability to be adaptable even deeper within. So we're really starting to hit the perfect adaptability range by being aggressive to any of the creatures who dare to put their nest near ours. And we did become friendly. We did ally the Garks, uh, which is just one Gark. I don't know why it says the Garks, but we have allied this Gark. This is Gark, our Gark, our very own Gark. It's really cool. It has like these little gemstones on its back and everything. And he's our very own praying mantis rogue creature. And I like to imagine that because we, as the Kimqua, tend to run around Ugh, I'm getting like knocked around by my little rogue. <laughs> but because we tend to run around clearing out all of the nest. All right, let's go ahead and befriend this one. Of the creatures who dare to nest near our precious fruit trees, which are the source of quinoa food, this guy likes to go around eating. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> You're going after a judge. Oh my gosh, they ate one of these, these guys. Okay, let's go ahead and defeat this judge because he's almost dead. Look at that. Look at that. That's what our rogue does. It gets really excited because it's like, oh, there's so much food around because we can't we tend to come in and like kill these guys. We very rarely eat them. So the Gark thinks that he's just living on top of the world here. Oh, no. Oh, no. And it has really high health. So you very rarely have to worry about it getting hurt. Whereas we're a little bit squishier, but that's OK. Our rogue friend. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> he's totally worth keeping around. This is amazing. All right, how many more judges do we have to go? We have to hunt four more judges? Just how many are there now? That's really challenging. All right, well, we've taken out a whole bunch of them. Now we have to take out this baby judge, which the rogue can do like no problem. Dun dun dun, and our brains have grown and we have cleared out the nest area so aggressively. <laughs> but thankfully, we are happily in the adaptable range now. So the goal of Om Nom Omnivore, to play the path between peaceable and warlike, is finally beginning to be achieved. We're just very strategic about the, um, the allies that we bring on. And I actually want to search out a couple more rogues before we move on to the tribal stage. And we're not going to move on to tribal stage probably until we find most all of the parts. And all also until we have three rogue friends so that we can have three rogue pets when we move on to tribal stage who will lay eggs for us, which is exceptionally useful. Also, where's two more judges? Did I like kill all of them? Are you supposed to like only kill a few and then come back and kill more later now? Is that how this works? Oh, <gasps> it's a Leobly! Guys, we found the Leobly nest again! Look, oh my gosh! We could actually take out the Leobly if we wanted to. I can't believe that. I kind of want to leave them there because it would be really funny if they turned out to be like one of the, um, one of the endemic species on this planet once the Kimqua, uh, like, become, become spacefaring. That would be kind of fun to see. Oh, look, and there's some bones. Let's go get some bones. Right over here, we'll just collect up the bones of the fallen. But yeah, we're happily adaptable now. So now I just want to spend a little bit of time searching out rogues. And we did find a rogue last time. There's our, our really cool volcano that we need a special name for. We did find a rogue last time. And I don't really want to pull in an ally that's from our tribe again. This is not the new nest, by the way. This is the old nest with adorable babies rolling around in it. But we did find another rogue. <gasps> Look at the size of those bones! I want to go poke those bones. I bet they're holding some really awesome genetic material. Just look at them. Wow. Wow, that was so cool. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Guys, it's the cassowary wings. We finally have the highest, best quality wings. I am so thrilled. Oh, we're ha we need to go find our, our home nest, our new home nest, and, and get those. All right, and then these are the long-tailed lemurs, which are interesting, to say the least. They don't look a lot like lemurs, but they're pretty awesome. And I think if we attack just a few more creatures, maybe make another species go extinct, just one more species, we should be perfectly in the adaptable range. But as long as we stay in there before we move to tribal, we should be okay. Also, I think I see some bones. What the heck? <gasps> There's, they were out. I knew 
I knew, I knew, I knew that the rogue was nearby. All right. I think the rogue's gonna win. This isn't gonna be a very... <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. And we finally have some charming abilities. So hopefully we can go ahead and charm the pants off this rogue. It really likes charm and pose. There we go. And now it's gonna, it's gonna just sing at us. But if we befriend it, you get like 100 DNA points. Come on, come on. We wanna be your friend, we wanna be your friend. And then we can add him as a future kind of like cattle pet. All right, and pose. Dun, dun, dun. Sweet, all right, so we have to do it again. The uh, Flaminel are now our allies, which is pretty cool. And he's, oh, look at him fly. You can fly too, that's so cool. Come and join my, my little group. You can eat all of the meat of the creatures that we killed to get away from our uh, little fruit trees. See, so it worked out that we're not like strict omnivores who normally eat both meat and fruit. We mostly eat fruit, but we kill anything that comes near our fruit trees. So it totally worked out. Wonderful, so we found another rogue. Yes, that's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, village folk, we have three pose it, uh, three posse members from different species. Oh yeah, new achievement unlocked. Wonderful, not wonderful, what the heck? Wow, I've been stunned. Wow, my rogues did not put up with that. Did you see that nonsense? <laughs> oh my gosh, all right, let's attack him. This should be cool. All right, all right, so yeah, that elf is dead. This is so cool. Having two rogues in the family is like the best thing ever. They're not gonna let anything get to me. All right, let's go ahead and take out the rest of this pack since they decided to mess with us. I wasn't really gonna, look at this. Look at this, this is so cool. All I have to do is just kind of point at him and be like, go get him. Go get him. Go get him, Rex. I'm gonna name you Rex. There we go. Nice. All right, come on everybody. This one too. We just drove this, like my rogues were not going to put up with that. That was amazing. All right, let's go ahead and dig up these these bones. But we do have the wings we're going for. So that was like the biggest thing that we were really holding out on. And let's see, what else did we get? Another, another foot. And there's so much fruit up here. So I don't mind having cleared those guys out of here so that I could eat. And we got a talon paw as well, which has a lot of sneaking. That's interesting. And then let's go ahead and eat from over here. Man, isn't this world just so pretty? I really, I know I say it every single time, but I have not ever had a prettier spore world. I did back up the save, by the way, so we can always come back and just roam these forest and creature stage for as long as we wish, because it's just, it's just stunning. I mean, look at this. This is so cool. There's a forest. There's like a rock forest with trees and everything. Oh, wow. Wow, this is just, ah, oh, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm getting distracted, but this is just stunning. All right, so I don't know where we're going, but I probably need to turn around. Ooh, except for the fact I just saw some bones. <gasps> another rogue? Oh my gosh, yes. Another rogue, look at him. Look at his glorious self. He looks like a monitor or something like that. All right, let's release my, um, my pack mate. And then we're going to see, where did that rogue go? Was he eating these diamonds? I think, oh, there he is. Wait, is, is he over here? All right, those are actual monitors. Oh my gosh, it's like a rogue of a tribe that's nearby us. Um, not exactly, but pretty close. All right, oh, was that him? <gasps> He's flying off, let's go get him, guys. So there is a monitor tribe, a minotaur, monitor, um, it depends on how they spelled it. And then this is a mega horse and he looks really cool. We're gonna make him our friend. Come join us. And then we'll have three rogues. And that will be the most amazing thing ever and nothing will ever be able to attack us again. Look at this. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, and now we need, we're his ally now, which means we have a ridiculous number of DNA points. And now we need to see, come back, come back and make a horse. Now we need to see if we can make him into my companion too. This is so cool. All right, come on. Man, he's awesome looking. Whoever made him did a great job. And then, and I think all he knows how to do is sing, which fits me perfectly. Oh my goodness. 
He sounds like a donkey too. There we go. We've got three rogues with us, guys. We're unbeatable now. This is going to be so fantastic. Now we can work on trying to find our way back home and using the amazing DNA points we got. I'm kind of sad that we found that so quickly, though. Are we still adaptable? Just barely. Let's go find our new nest and we will defend it with everything we've got. And then we'll see what parts we have found and if we're happy with how advanced we have made our creature. If need be, we shall continue to attack the, uh, the more aggressive species. Mm, let's see. Let's turn... Where the heck am I supposed to be going? Where's where's the new home? The new home is somewhere in this direction. So we actually need to turn around. <laughs> but if need be, we will actually start attacking more species so that we can gain more DNA points. It won't be hard. And with these rogues beside us, we will pretty much take over the entire area and be totally ready for tribal stage. All right, and there's some more. I thought I heard something. Look at how pretty this is. This is truly the most beautiful spore planet ever, especially because it lacks all of the really spooky eyeball bushes. I'm so happy it doesn't have any eyeball bushes. All right, these guys are just hiding from us. These guys better not pick a fight. Oh, they're picking a fight with somebody else. And look at my little group of rogues. I keep hearing something like a spaceship just very distantly. That's so interesting. And one of the things I did think was interesting is we've not seen an epic. So we have a whole bunch of rogues running around, but I've actually never seen an epic on this planet. All right, there we go. So many bits and pieces. So many parts. What part did we just find? The Hydrolapidert. Hmm. Oh, and I'm getting hungry, so let's go ahead and eat from this spot. What the heck just emerged out of the bushes behind me? That is so creepy. Mushroom men. Mushroom Jin just showed up out of the blue, turn around, and the trees are moving behind us. So weird. Yeah, something is chattering. Ah! What the heck? It's the judges! They've come back! They've come back for me! Oh my gosh! Can I attack them? What's happening? They came back for revenge! Just out of the blue! <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, that was amazing. I've never really had that happen where I'm just minding my own business and then a species I thought we already made go extinct just comes back. And there's the mushroom men just wandering by. Okay, then. Huh. Well, you look like you're ready for tribal stage, that's for sure. Wow, their eyes are gemstones that glitter at us. That's kind of cool. All right, so we need to continue on this way. We still have all of my little allies with us. Wonderful. Here. And actually, we need to cross this little patch of ocean, which I don't think should be a problem. Oh, I'm about to I'm about to fly into hostile slug territory. <laughs> These are hostile crystal slugs. I don't know how they would take this. Um, okay. Maybe I should just get rid of them now. Where is an alpha? There's so many of them. All right, I'm just going to stand back here. And I'm pretty sure as long as I just like Scent mark with my spit which one we're supposed to be attacking. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. All I have to do is just like point at them and be like, go my warriors. And then these guys completely take over. Why did my pack have to move to an area that's ridiculously full of spooky things? Look at the size of that. What is it? This place is just full of bones. Those crystal slugs are really cool though. I kind of want to keep their, their parts so that we can decorate. All right, and then I want to wait for my alpha or my rogues to heal. And then all I have to do is just like sit mark each one <laughs> with the spit. And then once I do that, I mean, we, I, can we just sit here and heal while we're attacking? Because that's so ridiculous. Oh my gosh, that was really cool. All right, feast. Feast, my rogues. How many of you are herbivores? I think this guy is a strict herbivore, the mega moose. Yeah, he ran over to eat from uh, on top of a tree. And then, wow, we just like flew into hostile crystal slug territory. There's the Leo play right over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then took over like two two tribes. I don't even know what the womb force are, but we might run into them again. I think their nest is right over the way. Let's see. And then there's another spot. <gasps> what are those? Oh, they're so pretty. They're like a water dragon. 
They look related to this little horse guy. And then there's some some guys, some gnarls with really, really long legs. And there's some Leo play raiding their nest. <gasps> I love creature stage. It's just so much fun. All right, so let's keep moving. We, we destroyed all the crystal slugs. Might need to destroy some more of those aggressive guys. Right over here. We can go ahead and just like scent mark them and let our rogues do the rest. There we go. This is so cool. I've never done it like this before and it's so much easier. Where's an alpha? I don't know if they have an alpha actually. And all I have to do is just kind of like, okay, get this one. Yep. That was really, that was probably the easiest I have ever uh, destroyed a species. This is so cool. It's like we've synced them up to, to our our pheromones or something. And so every time we, we just like smack a little like danger, danger, this this thing is a danger. Then all of these guys will go cattywampus on him. And then there's some cute little alpha things. Are they just going to move in over here? They're like, oh, it's an empty nest. Look at how many there are. They're super curious. Well, you guys are kind of cute. All right, now where's my nest? <laughs> the whole reason I'm here is because I'm looking for my nest. And I need to make sure I keep our rogues alive. All right, climb over the tree, silly thing. All right, and these frogs, we won't attack them. I just want to come and get the bones that are among them. All right, there we go. New eyes. I think we're getting a ton of the eyes. <gasps> wow, look at those bones. Oh, they're so cool. I wish you could keep these giant things as like decoration sometimes. Isn't that awesome? All right, let's go ahead and dig this up. And we got the Bucky Buckerson. All right. Man, where the heck did my pack decide to relocate to? First we flew... Oh, there's some more bones. Man, whatever happened over... Is this a footprint? <gasps> this is a footprint. This is so cool. Look at this. It's a gigantic footprint. Is there an epic nearby? Why did my pack have to pick like the most dangerous spot to, to, to put their new nest? Where is my new nest? Like, where the heck is my pack? Is this another footprint? Oh, <gasps> it is! It is! It looks like a creature got stepped on right here. This is the coolest thing. Oh my gosh. All right, let's dig this up. I am so happy. <gasps> it's my Cali cats! And they're Cali catting! They're flying on top of a spice geyser together. Oh my gosh. These are the Cali cats, guys. I made a whole bunch of cat species. Uh, I'm actually going to befriend them because that would be so cool. Deja vu, discover a creature you created in another game. We did that with the Leo play too. I just didn't want to get near them because they would eat us. All right, we can, we can do some awesome dancing. No problem. Where's a Cali cat alpha? But they're cauliflower cats that I made for our space cattery while we were playing as the Leo play. The Leo play may indeed love eating everything with barbecue sauce, but they have a soft spot for their uh, for their really cool space cats. So they take very good care of their space cats and have many genetic varieties of garden space cat. The strawberry space cat and the Cali cat are still some of my favorites though. All right, so we're gonna befriend these guys because they're they're my creatures and I really like them. And besides, maybe they'll help out with our, our little garden that we've got going. All right, let's see if we can befriend this alpha too. Get more bits and pieces. We got the hunter face. This is so cool. My little Cali cats. That's the best I got right here. What do you think? All right. Man, why do they have to show off their beautiful... They're showing off their really beautiful leaves is what they're doing. Man, my Cali cats. And uh, I think I put these guys up somewhere where you guys could download them. I think they're on our Facebook page, actually, in the Facebook gallery. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're so close, so close, so close, so close. Just a teeniest bit more. Yes, all right. And we got a new spitting horn as a reward for befriending the Cali cats. That makes me so happy that we bumped into the Cali cats. All while we are searching somewhere. And there's some more bones and another really cool footprint. So it still looks like uh, somebody got stepped on and left behind their genetic DNA. Uh, but I have no idea where the heck my, my creatures are. What the heck are those? They're aggressive, whatever the heck. Gosh, and there's a lot of them. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, maybe we want to get rid of these guys. Wee! Wee! Okay, let's try getting rid of these ones. I got to defend myself here. And then let's get rid of this one. Oh boy, I don't want him to kill my rogue either. So we've got to get in here. 
Man, you guys have a bit of a temper problem, you know that? All right, well, we took out whatever. I didn't even get a chance to really look at their species with all these really cool bones because we, we got in here so quickly. Yeah, they were pretty cool. And there's an alpha something something. All right, and how many bones did we snag while we were over here? I think we got all the bones. Where is my home nest? There, oh, we got a badger bear foot. That's really cool. They are really making me work for this to find my little home nest, but it's been a fun adventure, that's for sure. I think we're like working our way through most of the parts now too, which is kind of amazing. It was a lot easier to snag all those, and man, having the protection of my rogues, that's just amazing. There we go, we got the little bucker foot. Uh, we got some aggressive little things over there, some thistles over there. <gasps> wow, it's another wide open plain. I knew I should have trusted my family. They found the perfect new nest. Oh, and they even left some bones out for me to dig up. Yay! Our eggs have changed color again. Oh, that was fantastic. I'm so happy. Are we gonna make a new, a new little nest spot? Let's expand it. Yeah! We buried that egg, oh no. <laughs> All right, and new generations are gonna be born at this fantastic nest. I am very, very happy. That was absolutely awesome. We found the Cali Cats and we've managed to get enough of the point. Whoops, that if we so chose, we could actually go ahead and move on to tribal stage. But I really want to kind of perfect our appearance a little bit more and figure out what we want to look like, um, really how we want to behave. Because any decisions that we make at the end of our creature stage will permanently affect our appearance for the rest of the time that we have our little king qua. So we need to make these decisions very, very carefully. Plus I want to explore and see what kind of creatures may happen to be around us right now. How are we doing? And we're keeping nice and strong to that adaptability too. So we're right down the middle path. And I think we uh, we just may make it. Just we're gonna have to decide if we want to attack or chase off some of these guys. And if we have enough parts that we can adjust our appearance enough that we feel satisfied and can move on. Also, I can't believe we found some of those big footprints. I don't think I've ever seen that in Spore before. Creature stage has so much more than I realized because normally you rush through it. So we may take a, a little while longer to roam around and maybe take a mate and uh, try tweaking our wings. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.